Hi, it's Mark Mush, and welcome back to Furious Fiction. I'm here with Diane Roberts. And we have a great treat for you today. We have an author with a new book out, or soon to be out, uh, Elizabeth Stuckey French. Her novel is The Revenge of the Radioactive Lady. And is it out yet? No, it's coming out February 8th, which is about a week and a half, I think. Yep. Okay. And, uh, and you've done one of the, because I've had a chance to look at the early version of this, as has Diane, and you've done one of the things I think is the hardest thing for a writer to do, which is to be funny. I mean, I, I've tried to write humorous stuff, and it, it's, you know, it's, not a, it's not an easy thing to do. Well, let me tell you all, and you're just going to love this book, but I'm going to let you talk about well, it. Well, I really, um, I guess it's just because I see the world that way. I don't mm -hmm. really, um, it's not something I consciously do. I, I just, I really see the world in terms of everything's funny and sad, and even in very tragic situations, there's humor, usually. But... Uh, well, tell us a little about the book. Tell, give us the setup. Um, I like to. My own little tag line for the book is it, it's it's a, a domestic thriller. Um, it starts out with um, a, an old woman. She's old at the beginning of the book. She's seventy-seven, old, and she's just she in the nineteen fifties was a victim of this widespread government. Uh, series of experiments that went on in all kinds of situations throughout the United States. These were all secret, um, but scientists gave radiation in various forms to unsuspecting groups of people um, just to test and see what, what effect it would have on them. Really they were trying to figure out what was the safe level of radiation that people could absorb, but no results ever came out of these tests. Uh, no usable results. But anyway, this woman um, in my novel, who's based on a woman whom this actually happened to, I'll talk about that in just a second, but um, she was given radiation at a prenatal visit um, when she went in to, for her first visit in, uh, it was kind of a low-income OBGYN clinic. And Ten years later, the daughter that she had got cancer and died, and that happened to a lot of women. And did this happen to the real person yeah, also? Yes. Wow. Uh, yeah. But actually, there were 800 women who were given these prenatal cocktails in a clinic at Vanderbilt University. Mm -hmm. um, just as an aside, it was also given to orphans in an orphanage outside of Boston, which is pretty unbelievable, but they formed a science well, club for yeah. the orphans. and. Mm -hmm. right made them feel like they were really special to be chosen for this science club, but they had to eat this special oatmeal every morning with radiation. And you know, this doesn't sound like it'd be funny, but it really is very <laughs> funny. I know that, y'all, really, it's, it's very funny because Mary Lou exacts or intends to exact her revenge. Right. She, she's Googling around one day and she discovers the name of the doctor who gave, who ran the clinic and where she was given this drink and she decides she's 77, her daughter's dead, her, she and her husband are divorced, she's just going to go kill this man and <laughs> that's where the fun starts. <laughs> like actually. I said, it's really funny though, yeah. though it doesn't necessarily sound like it when we put it this way, but one of the things I admire very much that you do is it's extremely funny and there's this really sinister undercurrent in the whole thing. Not just about, mm. you know, Mary Lou, who, who appears under an assumed name that's also quite funny, but that, you know, all these people are crazy and interesting <laughs> and also slightly alarming ways, really. Well, you know. What I like about it is it's, it's kind of different from what you've done before. I mean, your, your first book was a short story collection that I loved, uh, The First well, Paper Girl you. in Red Oak, Iowa. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you wrote a novel called Mermaids on the Moon. And these were, you know, this, I mean, it's a, it's a real testament to you that you can kind of do different stuff. Uh, so, I mean, but talk to us about, I mean, how did, you know, did you, this just come to you out of the blue? or you? Well, you, it really, it started when I found that book, this wonderful book by Eileen Wilson called The Plutonium Files, which is all about those experiments. Mm -hmm. um, and I read it and I was fascinated by it and I couldn't believe nobody had heard about them. Um, but they were investigated in the early 90s and when Clinton went on the air to talk about these experiments to the, to the American public was the same day that O.J. Simpson 
drove his Bronco down the interstate. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so, God, you know, got kind of uh, right, off so, kilter there. Right, so uh, guess which story was sort of forgotten about. Um, well, yeah, that good point. Yes, yeah. but anyway, so I wrote earlier versions of it where this whole 50s experiment stuff was in the past, and I was just writing about this sort of dysfunctional family at a crisis in their lives. They have two teenagers with Asperger's, uh, and uh, a, another daughter who strives to be perfect, the parents are sort of at odds, and the experiments remained in the past. The grandfather was living with them, but um, it wasn't until I decided, one of my helpful friends told me I needed a better plot. She said, get a new plot, actually. <laughs> um, That's all, you always appreciate friends yeah, like that. Yeah, uh, very helpful comment. <coughs> but uh, I realized I had, had to have somebody from the past coming into the mm -hmm. present, and as soon as I developed that Mary Lou character, I don't know if that means I'm a sick and twisted individual myself, which I, I might be, but I just really loved her and I loved the the purpose and the you know, the single mindedness of her She's wanting to kill this man. She right. was on a mission. Well and, and we're gonna have to wrap up today. Our author is Elizabeth Stuckey French. Her novel, The Re Revenge of the Radioactive Lady, I think I can speak for Diane Roberts and myself and we say read this read novel. Book. The, Re the Revenge of the Radioactive Lady. And Elizabeth, thank, thank you. you for being with thank us. Thank you, it was great.